Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give God all the glory. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, you prove them wrong. You prove them all, all of them wrong by eating their hate. You cause them to eat their own hate that they have towards you. Now, you know, when I heard this, I'm like, wow, somebody can hate somebody to a level and the person is saying, whatever you do, they are not convinced. Ah, we are not convinced, but if it is other people, they are convinced. But if it is if it is you, they are not convinced. Other people do it, they are convinced. But if it is you, they are not convinced. This is the hate we are talking about. This is the hate we are talking about. Other people do the same thing, they clap for them. They are like, ah, this is the real person. Oh, this one is doing it well, you know. But when it is your turn, automatically, they are not convinced. But hear me very well. Even if they were not convinced about your life, about what you do, about what you were about to do, child of God, that was none of their business. Thank God for the grace that you have to pursue your goal. Now, let me quickly tell somebody. Anything that you start in life and you see a lot of hate, you see a lot of negativity where spoken against those things and all of that just know that that thing is a real thing because we are living in a world that hates good thing so when i see anything good thing any good thing rising any good thing when any good thing is rising they will make sure they try to tell you how they hate it how they are not convinced about it how disappointed it might feel how this how fake it looks and all of that do you know that in nations, let me give you an example. In nations, just the earth that we are now, you know that it is the innocent. Innocent, even if there are those in authority, it is those that stand for the truth that are taken to that are being taken to court, that are being judged, that are being accused of different things. But those that really commit a lot of crime, even in big, big offices, they don't pay them for their crime. But when a righteous man or somebody want to do it different, you will see the whole nation will be against that person. Anything that people are throwing stone at, anything that you are doing and people are throwing stone at each other, God, be taking the stones and be using the stones to build it. To build it. Know that you are on the right track. If you don't even have an opposition in your business, it means you are not doing it right. There must be an opposition. Those oppositions are not meant to be convinced about your journey. They are not meant to be convinced about what you do. They are there to oppose. So that you will change what you do to suit them. So that you will listen to their own opinion. And their opinion is definitely something that will crush every good journey. Hallelujah. When you want to listen to an opinion of people, you will crush your journey. You will crash your journey, I'm telling you. I can use myself as an example. If I have listened to some negativity betraying, even within the circle, huh, I will not be here still speaking to you. I will have gone, gone into hiding. <laughs> but right there, I realized that whenever I was a target, or I am a target, because the enemy is still targeting us, whenever I am a target, that is when I have more strength to push in this journey. Show me a man of God or a woman of God who does not have opposition. We will question that man or that woman of God. Because every good thing has an opposition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, child of God, it, you did not need their conviction to do what you are doing. The fact that you are doing, you are still there doing what you are meant to do, you prove them wrong. You prove them all wrong. By eating their hate, they are eating their own hate. You understand? 
because you are standing in the in the position of why i don't care about you being convinced about what i do or not all i want is the approval of god if god approve of my journey god approve of my business my study my marital settlement my children if god approve of it then why should i seek after the approval of men and when you follow the approval of god you will see that all the enemies you will see that they are realizing they are wrong and they will start eating their head their heads one at a time one after the other i pray for you child of god your business will not collapse in life and in destiny it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelicera by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye